If you think about grief as a whole, grief is literally just love misplaced. And so mm. think about something that you loved and you misplaced it. So, you know, people don't equate the there's something here's how I'll tie it in. So there's something called disenfranchised grief, right? Okay. So what disenfranchised grief is, is that's basically society saying how you feel, you should not grieve that. So an example of that is like, Having, you know, everybody's talking about the abortion, right? If you had an abortion, you should not be able to agree that because you made that decision, right? Okay. Or if you had an ex from a long time ago and they passed away, you haven't talked to them in years, but you have this heavy feeling inside of you, you should not be able to do that, right? Mm -hmm. And so the reason why the we don't acknowledge these moments is society doesn't deem them as grievable, right? Uh, and mm -hmm. so if I lose a job or if I quit a job and I've lost my identity, right? You shouldn't grieve that because you didn't lose a parent. You didn't, somebody didn't die, mm -hmm. right? You didn't get divorced, right? These are big griefs, right? right. People, right. society and people try and put grief in like big grief, little grief when grief is just grief. Yeah. Grief is all the same, no matter how you slice it, right?